Living in a mobile home has always been my dream. Today, I'm going to give you a little tour about this old caravan that we have recently renovated. Staying in hotels in Sweden can be very, very costly. So, the reason why we buy this caravan uh, it is because we don't want to spend so much money on accommodation. So, with this mobile home, we can move around different regions in Sweden for sightseeing and even we can go further out a bit to Denmark and in Germany. With this pandemic, we do not know whether we are even allowed to travel to other regions in Sweden. Um, but right now, our plan is to get this done. Uh, in fact, it's already completed. So I'm going to be spending more time here uh, with more privacy because LG does have a summer house, but the summer house is not really that big. And sharing a house, you know, can be quite difficult to produce video. I'm talking. So now let's take a look at my humble mobile home. In this video, I'm going to share with you some of our experience how to make over this campus. How much does it cost? How we made it step by step? Turning this old campus into our dream mobile home. We bought this campus last autumn and this year we decided to give this a makeover. It took us 5 to 6 days to do the painting and the upholstery work. And you probably wonder how much does all this cost? Make sure you stay tuned until the end of this video. During this experience, sewing machine was my best friend. They said, if you are not good at something, make sure you work hard and learn to be better. The key word is practice. The reason why I didn't like sewing machine is because my fear of having my finger ran over by the sewing machine while sewing. But now, after a few days of sewing, I'm getting better. I believe that if you put your mind and effort to learn something that you're not good at, you will eventually be better at that. For me, from the beginning, I didn't even think that I could do this. Because everybody keep telling me, oh, you need to get a professional upholstery uh, technician to do this. But as you can see, I think I did quite a good job here, isn't it? Even though it was not perfect. Bottom line is putting the fear aside and keep telling myself, I can do it. If I can do it, I'm sure you too can do this. I made this 3D painting many years ago. Now it has been put in good use. To brighten up this tiny space, we decided to paint all the walls. With such a small constrained area, lighting is very important. This is how it looks like after painting. Besides painting all the walls, I was also in charge of painting all the cupboard shelves. Because these are laminated surface, it need a special kind of glue-like paint as a base so that the paint that go over will stick on well. What we did is to sand down a little bit before we applied the first layer of this special paint. The paint and brush cost us around 1000 Swedish kroner. It's cheaper to do it ourselves. If you were to send this to the shop, I think this would probably cost five times more as labor cost is quite high here in Sweden. It's important to let this first layer of special paint dry out completely at least for 24 hours before you could apply the next layer of paint. It's actually quite a lot of work if you come to think about it. We're lucky that we have one big room where we could do all the painting job while it's cold outside. This is the third day of painting 
and now we managed to put up all the cabinets door and painted all the walls. Putting back everything take another day. It's good that LG is good in doing all this work. For me, it will take forever. All the fixture was completed on the fifth day. Now, let me show you what we have in our caravan. Most of the stuff here are from my previous apartment. The only thing I bought so far is this plastic plate that are lightweight, like plastic cups, fork and spoon. These are really good. When traveling on campus, it is important to keep the weight as minimum as possible. Like all these are made of plastics. And as you can see, space is also limited. So we need to have this kind of foldable plates and bowls. Now, this will save us a lot of storage place. I like to cook on my own when I'm traveling. I got this transparent candy box from the supermarket for free. And then I use it to keep my spies. This is perfect because when the caravan is moving, you don't want things to rumble around in the cabinets. And the same for this, I got this cute little glass bottles from a friend. And I fill each bottle with different kind of sauces. When reorganizing, it is also important to keep in mind, making sure that there is no gap in between those stuffs. Well, if there are space in between, all you need to do is to fill up the gaps. You also notice that the workspace are really limited. And with this kind of space, you cannot expect to cook for a big party. Usually, people only do like cooking. The stove has a protecting glass and it can be used as a countertop if the stove are not in use. Usually, the sweet like to barbecue or cook outdoor. And using this kitchen may be the last resort. I'm so glad that there is a pull-out table here. This means more working space. As for kitchen tools and gadgets, I try to keep it as light and simple as possible. I only bring those things that I must have when cooking like plastic wraps and aluminum foil for barbecue, some tongs, some fork spoon and knife and most importantly my egg cutter. These drawers are not very deep so things to put in there are quite limited. There are safety locks on all the cabinet's door. This is to ensure that the door will not open when the caravan is moving. Appliances must be fastened when the caravan is moving. This, I haven't really decided how I want to organize this yet. I'll think about that later. One thing I find really useful is to reuse some of the things like this. For example, this is a document box. I can put all my things and get that organized so that it will not move so much when the caravan is moving. All loose items or decorative items must be removed when the caravan is on traveling mode. Here are some easy to reach silver and games. This space is actually for television and microwave. Because this caravan will stand beside the summer house, so we probably will not 
need that enough for now right now we only have some drinks and wine in this refrigerator this is the toilet and the storeroom the toilet is extremely small I'm not sure if we're gonna be using it because there are a lot of toilet along the highway even though it is very small but I still find them quite practical and useful I like this uh, hanging thing here uh, you can hang clothes or towels and there is this heater underneath so that the clothes will dry faster hygiene is really important but we try to keep it as minimum as possible so we don't bring big bottles of shampoo and conditioner here are some hygiene and cleaning product I have some baby wipes and some antibacterial wipes for the floor and some chlorine for some deep cleaning and underneath the sink there are two refillable tanks for water and over this side is the toilet this is the mobile toilet you pull it out do your business and then you have to clear it at the camping place to do your business you have to lift up the sink so you have more space now let's take a look at my wardrobe and this clothes should be enough for me for one week of traveling there I have my cooler box and I separate my clothes with tops and bottom and LG has his below and then we have over here some toilet rolls and laundry bags and then there's this DIY pockets where you could put more stuff so as you can see there are plenty of storage place right now they are empty okay, finally let's come to the sleeping area I do not know about you but sleeping to me is really important and above this bed we have more storage place there we will keep extra blanket or pillow in case we have gas and in case we don't have internet reading can be really nice and underneath this bed we even have more space where we could put more stuff like toilet papers and maybe some extra blanket in case it is cold in the night so I believe your question now is how much did we actually spend all together? Here are exactly how much we spent. So, what do you guys think? Is this expensive or is it unbelievably cheap? If you are planning to buy a RV or a camper, I hope this video comes in useful. If you like to thank me for making this video, you could share this video on my channel to someone who might find this useful too. Please put notification bell on when you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss my next. I usually respond to questions or comments within one hour of my new upload and I hope to hear from you feel free to check out my other video too meantime please stay safe and I'll see you in my next bye bye